Happy 4th of July everyone! We're having the ultimate burger, so let's get started! So we have some burgers and streaky bacon that has maple flavor in them. So let's put this on high. Are burgers traditional for July 4th, Paul? The thing is, is that you normally have burgers. You would also have hot dogs. And some people also do ribs and chicken, but I think for us, we're going to keep it simple, but then we're going to have two burgers each, which I think is enough for even the biggest person. So we're using a griddle pan for the burgers. Well, because I do like the charred markings on the burgers, I think it gives it flavor. And so that's why I'm not flipping it right now because I want it to get properly scorched, if you will. And will they be cooked thoroughly through? Do they have to be? I think so. Mmm, I love the smell of the bacon. You can really detect the maple. I know that you love your bacon. So in the meantime, while they are cooking, you are preparing the veg. So we have some tomatoes, a cucumber, gem lettuce, and onions, so I'm going to fry the onions on the griddle pan as well. They look almost done. The bacon definitely looks done right now. I think that we're ready. I think it's time to eat. Come back at the end of the show to see how they turn out. I'm looking into my crystal ball and I see great things for our show. So please do like, comment and subscribe. Paul has discovered there is no need to feel homesick in London. If you go out and about, you can discover several US presidents in the United Kingdom's capital. Here is Paul taking a look around. This is Grosvenor Square. 
the building behind me was the U.S. Embassy. Grosvenor Square used to house three U.S. presidents, including Dwight Eisenhower, Ronald Reagan, and it is still the place to see Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was the 32nd president. This statue was unveiled in 1948, and he is the only president to have served more than two terms of office. From 1933 to 1945, he had a total of four terms in office. This statue of Abraham Lincoln is situated in Parliament Square. It was unveiled in 1920. He was the 16th president of the USA and he oversaw the American Civil War and the Emancipation Proclamation which ended slavery in the US. John F. Kennedy was the 35th president of the United States. He was the youngest president and also the first Catholic president to be elected to the United States presidency. Only now is there a second Catholic president in Joe Biden. The statue behind me is George Washington, the first president of the United States of America. This was a gift to Britain in 1921 and it stands right outside the National Gallery in London.
Did you know that God Save the Queen is heard in other countries, but it's a completely different song? Well, the tune is the same, but the lyrics are different. Isn't that right, Paul? It is, because I know that there is one in the US that I learned in school. And it's a patriotic song. It's not the national anthem, which is the Star Spangled Banner. Isn't that right? Oh, look, we've, we've got one behind us. We've also got a, a Union flag. Um, but it is called My Country Tis of Thee. Tis of Thee. And you learned this at school. We did. I don't think I remembered all the words line by line, but it was read on occasion. And did you know that it had any links to the United Kingdom back then? Were not, you told that? Not at all. <laughs> so no, no one said. And I didn't know this until, um, I think, when you heard God Save the Queen, you said, oh, that's... That sounds so <laughs> much similar to um, My Country Tis of Thee, which I thought, huh, very strange. So you've got some notes here on the background of the song. What can you tell us about it? It was written by Samuel Francis Smith, and this was done during America's independence. Okay, so do you think that he, he obviously had heard God Save the Queen, because this was, you know, at that time, the, the English had come over. 1780s or something? Yeah, so the music was brought, was brought over with them. So they ripped it off, basically. <laughs> but it's, it's used um, as the anthem, it says here, in, Other in various Commonwealth countries as well, um, with different, slightly different lyrics. Now, what I thought we would do be a good idea, because you know that you love to hear me singing. <laughs> and I've got both versions of the song here, and I'm going to do a little mashup. You will never have heard this done anywhere before. Okay, get ready to be blown. Okay, well, that sounds a bit rude, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> let's give it a go. And I'm going to start off taking one line from God Save the Queen and another line from My Country Tis of Thee, which is a bit of a, a tongue twister, <laughs> I think. Okay, let's give it a go. God save our gracious Queen, sweet land of liberty. God save the Queen, land where my fathers died, happy and glorious from every mountain side. God save the Queen. So, what do you think? It kind of goes together, don't you think? It, does, it doesn't exactly rhyme, but it doesn't exactly not rhyme at the same time. So it's prose. <laughs> and of course, well, God Save the Queen, there are five verses. Um, it's a bit like Auld Lang Syne. I don't think... <laughs> Anyone knows the end. <laughs> well, no, yeah. Um, did you know, for example, that the second verse of God Save the Queen goes, Oh Lord, our God, arise, scatter our enemies and make them fall. Well, that really does go back to <laughs> the days when uh, Britain ruled oh the waves, I think. Um, so it's, it's quite interesting. And, um, you know, both versions of the song are widely available on the internet. So perhaps the next time that you want to stand up in the UK and sing the <laughs> national anthem, just blow people away by singing <laughs> My, My Country, country Tis, tis of Thee. <laughs> How wonderful. Thanks for watching our show. If you like what you see, please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much. Well, this looks and smells absolutely divine. Um, Paul has made some little crispy fries 
Uh, we've got some tomatoes to be healthy. We've got a potato salad. Cucumber too. Cucumber and we have got ketchup uh, from Mr. Organic. Do you so, want some potato salad too? Yes, pop a little bit on. Now potato salad is also a it very... It is very American. <laughs> well, it's a very popular um, July, dish. July 4th yes, it dish, is. isn't it? And shall we get some of this this ketchup? It's a new bottle, so it should pop. See, told you. And where do you want that? On the burger? Yes, on the burger. Okay, let's see, does it easily? Do you want to give me some on the side as well? Knife. Okay, I think it's going to need a little bit of assistance to come out. So, just put it yeah. where? On the side. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to put some all on the burger as well? Okay. 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 That, uh, and I think I'll have a little bit just with the fries. Like over here. Very good. Oh, and I need some of this. Oh, your pepper. Okay. So why don't you tuck in? Okay. Um, I'm not very good at <laughs> chewing right into a burger um, whole, so I've, I've cut it in half. Uh, to make it a little bit easier. This looks amazing, right? Mmm! Mmm! All those flavours are coming through. Mmm! I love my curly fries. The maple cured bacon. Okay, let's see if I can get oh, it all in mm. one go. Mmm! 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 Delicious! Wow! Mmm! Let's try some of these fries. Lovely, and the potato salad. Mmm, lovely and creamy. Very, very satisfying. And of course, you could make this meal any time of year. You could do it outside on the barbecue if you have one. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. Um, well, if you watch one of our old episodes, you'll see that we attempted to do a little barbecue last last year and nearly set fire to the garden. So, there we mm. go. Well, while we finish this, I think we'll say bye for now. Thank um, you for watching. Enjoy July the 4th, whether you're in the United States or anywhere else around the world. It's a reason to celebrate. Bye for now. See you next time. Mmm. Mmm. And we've got another one to come too, haven't we? What do you mean? Another burger. Do you not hungry anymore? No, you, you, you made four. Do you not hungry anymore? What do you mean? I am starving. I don't know about you. <laughs> no, I'm saying we've got more to come. So what are you talking about? What are you talking about?